Hey everyone, Jeremiah here, and what I want to do today is go over a quick demonstration of my Smart Things Smart Home and show you some of the things I have on it, why I did it, and just give you guys a quick demonstration of it. So the reason that I initially even got involved into a smart home was because I'm putting an addition on my house and I was looking at, first of all, everything in my house is LED. I don't have a regular light bulb in my house. And I was looking of a way to dim them. So I went to Lowe's and looked for a dimmer for LEDs. Man, are those things expensive. You're talking like 40 bucks for a pretty good LED dimmer just to dim your LED bulbs. So I started looking a little further and I was like, well, hey, if I'm going to spend 40 bucks, I might as well spend like 55, get a smart switch. I can control it from my Alexis, control it remotely. I can dim my lights to whatever I want. And that's initially why I got into it. And it just kept going from there and there and I kept adding things. I don't have everything hooked up at this point. Right now I probably got like a thousand bucks into everything, but I have a lot of switches that I haven't installed yet. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a quick demonstration on some of the things that it can do and some of the things that I have it set up to do. So I hope you guys enjoy and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. I post tech reviews and drone stuff, cool things I've seen, just a lot of different things. So please give a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Alright, so I can come home from work. Alexa, living room lights 20%. Alexa, kitchen lights, 5%. Okay. Okay. Alexa, all lights off. And they all go off. Okay. The first thing I got it set up to do is when you open the front door, I have something that tells me when the doors are open. And you could program for it to say different things, but if you listen here. Front door is open. It has a little delay to it. But uh, I have it set for my garage doors, so if they open, it'll tell you my basement door. So there's the first thing. Another thing I have it set so when I go to work in the morning, that when I walk out this door, specifically at a certain time every morning, it'll shut out all the lights in the house. If I forget to turn one off, it'll shut it off. So that's one pretty cool thing. Another thing is I haven't set on an alarm. I got door sensors on all my doors, especially my garage. If somebody comes in at a, between certain times or whatever, or if I'm home and I have it armed, it'll go off, it'll notify me on my phone and uh, set off an alarm in the house. So that's another cool thing. And I'm gonna show you something cool about the switches I bought, uh, the ones I was talking about, the LED dimmers, and show you what they can do. So the first thing I got is the ceiling fans, which I have them set to my uh, Alexis, so I could say, Alexa, living room fan, 100%. Okay. So there you go there, and Alexa, living room fan off. Okay. Please subscribe to my channel. So there it is off. Dum -dum. All right, so now I'm gonna show you what some of the switches can do. And this is not a three-way switch, and it's not hooked to my ceiling fan in any way other than through the web or through the hub, however you wanna call it. But as far as wires go, it's not wired at all to the ceiling fan. So I'm going to show you a cool thing with that. So this switch here is a home sear switch from home sear. They're about $55. I think they have a newer, newer version out now, but with this switch, it's an led dimmer. As I said before, it's not connected to my ceiling fan, but when I double tap up, it'll turn the ceiling fan on. Now the ceiling fan switch is over there. So I can control it from over here, even though it's not a three way. And again, if I double tap up, I have it set to turn it off again. That's a cool feature there. Now you can use that double tap up to do or control anything you want that's on your system. I think I have a triple tap up to do 10% uh, on the living room lights. So, and you can set this to do multiple things too. You could set triple tap to say dim the living room lights to 10% but make the kitchen lights 20. And I mean, you could, it's unlimited what you can do. If you went to Lowe's to buy a regular dimmer, you're gonna pay at least 40 bucks probably. So this is uh, not too bad for an extra 15. And then the only thing you need, one of these guys here, it's the Smart Things Hub. You can also control anything that you connect to this from your smartphone. And I'll show you an example of that here. All right, so I'm in the Smart Things app now, and this is my main home thing. Uh, you can click on the home button, and you'll see here that <clears throat> I have everything that I have installed on my home so far. So I have uh, a doorbell there. That's what tells you when you open up doors. It tells you what doors open. 
my wife's phone is on it as well as mine that way if we both leave the house it arms the alarm and uh, tells you right now that she's present basement door tells you if it op it's open or closed basement lights and uh, you guys can read I'm not gonna name them all but another thing that's cool is the energy monitors you can see here that this is how much energy that my house is using right now my entire house I'm using 653 watts so I haven't reset it for a while so you can actually adjust this to your, the cost of your energy and keep a track of how much it's costing you at the moment what's cool is you could see how much a refrigerator is using when it kicks on or an air conditioner hot tub whatever you want and my garage doors you can see that they're unavailable because I need to replace the batteries in those but I have a light over the hot tub my iPads present uh, so if you want to go ahead and control lights so what you do is you can either do it from right here go ahead and click on and it will turn the lights on you can click off it turns them off or you can go into see here's the kitchen lights they're off and turn those on turn those off let's say you open up the living room lights and you can see right now that if I turn them on it, was, it will go to 25 percent or you can click down here and you can adjust the level there's 98 percent or you can go all the way down to uh, well that's zero percent here's two percent you can see it's really dim there um, go up to 50 percent anywhere in between I mean it's it's unlimited where what you can do with this as far as brightness so go ahead and exit out of there and you can see here uh, let me get this brightness back down you can see here that so here's my triple double and triple tap options and press and hold option so remember that the living room switch was on the ceiling fan so I could tap this here turn the fan on tap it again turns the fan off but I also can go to living room fan here oops it's on high right now and adjust you know your low medium and high here as well so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you in the kitchen let's turn the kitchen lights on so turn those on now you can go in here and see that here's my switch for that I do have this one on a three-way and the three-way ones is over here and it doesn't have the lights but you can still control the lights still do the double tap Any, everything you can do on the other switch you can do on this one it just doesn't show you the scale of what percentage you're on so a cool thing is I have my kitchen sink lights on a sensor so from dusk till dawn when it senses me it that little sensor is right here it will actually turn the lights on and if it doesn't sense motion within a minute we'll turn them off or I have it set so that I could do a double or a triple tap here and it will turn them on and off so I'll show you here let's go to sink lights so you can see that they're off I could double tap on this and they turned on and now it's on on the on the phone it shows me that they're on so I could double tap again turns them off and you can see it goes off on the phone so you can monitor you can turn lights on and off you don't have to be home when you do it you could be at work on vacation you could be anywhere and adjust your lights turn them all on turn them all off so that's just another cool feature yeah, so now I'm gonna show you how you can drop in on some of your other rooms some of your family members, wife, girlfriend, your kids, how you can drop in, tell them to bring you a cold beer, tell them to go to sleep, whatever you want to do. All you need is more than one device. I have one in each room. I have four Alexas and Echoes. So I pretty much got one in every one of my main rooms so that I could drop in or listen to music through the whole house, which is another cool thing you can do with them. You can set it to play music everywhere and it'll play on all your devices at the same time. That way you can walk from room to room and hear all your music. So let's go ahead and check that out. Alexa, drop in on bedroom. Hey, bud, you there? What do you want to say? Is that all? Mm -hmm. Okay, love you. Love you too. Alexa, stop. So another great feature, I got a sensor in my sump pump pit. If my sump pump quits working or if it starts to overflow or whatever, as long as my power's not out, it will send me a notification to my cell phone and it'll alert me, text me, and the alarm that I have set to my hub will start blaring in the house, letting you know that my sump pump isn't working and that I better get to it quick. So there's the little sump pump sensor there. It's hooked up with this little wire here that goes down into the pit and there's just a little sensor down there. When it gets wet, it goes off. All right, so I have my basement lights on a switch. When I double tap on that up, it turns the addition lights on 
or off. I also have it set so that when I double tap down twice, it shuts the basement lights off and turns the upstairs lights, the addition lights on. So double tap down. And it did not come on. There it goes. And I have my garage lights on a switch too. So if you watch this small window, Alexa, garage lights on. Alexa, garage lights off. Alexa, patio lights 50%. Alexa, patio lights off. Alexa, addition lights off. Alexa, kitchen temperature up one degree. Alexa, kitchen temperature down one degree. Please subscribe to my channel.